In this problem, we have to integrate the square root of u du. So that means that u is the variable. So we're integrating uh, with respect to u. So the first thing we want to do is we want to rewrite this in a way that will allow us to actually do the problem. So we know we can handle uh, variables to a power using what's called the power rule. So we need to write the square root as something to a power. So note there's a 1 here and there's a 2 here. And so what you can do is you can write it as u and then it's 1 over 2, okay, just like this, 1 over 2, and then du. So the square roots can always be written as in that way. In general, if you had something like this, say you had the nth root of u to the m, this would be m over n, okay? It's always just this one over this one. So in this case, it's 1 over 2. Okay, now that uh, we have it written as u to a power, we can use the power rule. The power rule just says that we add 1 to this number. So if you take 1 half and you add 1, that's really 1 half plus 2 halves. So that's going to give you 3 halves. So what you do with the power rule is, you know, you drop the integral sign, you drop the du, then you write your u, and then it's 3 halves, okay? And now you're dividing by 3 halves, so you put a division sign, and then 3 over 2. And it's really important to put the plus c. The plus c is called um, the constant of integration. Really key to have that there. We're almost done. Uh, most people don't like it if you leave it like this. Uh, when you're dividing by 3 halves, that's really the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. So this is really 2 thirds. And then here we have u to the 3 halves. Let's not forget our capital C. And that would be the final answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful.